what I lament is the reluctance, the hesitance, the uh, the lack of action on behalf of the global church uh, when it comes to the issue of the Israeli-Palestinian question. Uh, as far as justice issues are concerned, everything is permissible and they are proactive. But when it comes to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, this is where political agendas within the church hinders and more often prevents action towards justice. And we constantly have noticed that a source of concern for us and us here in Peru and also in the people of the different sectors is the malestar that is growing every day due to the insecurity that we are experiencing. There are different forms of violence, especially now the violence against women la violencia crece cada día, la corrupción. Ahora un nuevo problema agregado es la trata de personas, donde son jóvenes especialmente venidas de sitios lejanos que están en esta, en esta situación. La falta de servicios básicos, agua de calidad en las zonas rurales. Mientras más lejos vive una población, el Estado, la presencia del Estado es más débil y la falta de oportunidad de los jóvenes que tienen hoy día este sector por la gran desocupación eh, y la, tanto jóvenes como mujeres eh, tienen este problema. The things that I lament on is what I will phrase as uh, negative uh, solidarity. Um, negative solidarity shows itself when you know that your co-religionists are wrong and yet you are in solidarity with them just because you share a religion. And I think that it's not something that um, is just there in the religious sphere. It's, it's there in society that uh, people get in solidarity with their own, uh, even though they know that their own is wrong, but just for the, the sake of uh, being in solidarity at any cost. And that is very disheartening indeed because it then forms a vicious circle whereby justice and matters of truth are covered because of the, this whole issue of negative uh, solidarity. I think I'm lamenting most at the time, uh, especially after a few years of working with Centro Esperanza and being into Clio's overseas personnel um, and being with people who live in poverty and have a lot of experiences that they've shared with me about being in poverty. I think I lament most simply the sense that people are excluded um, and marginalized from basic services and their needs aren't met, such as access to water, sanitation, decent housing, um, quality education, um, nutritious food, um, Human suffering is caused by the fact that so many people don't have their basic needs met. And um, at Centro Esperanza, we try to work to build communities that have access to those basic needs and services and uh, can live a life of well-being. And I lament that um, too many people in Chicago still live in situations of great vulnerability. Well, uh I lament the uh, failure of our uh, government uh, to go into uh, formal peace negotiations with the National Democratic Front and uh, the constant uh, uh, disasters that come into my country, uh, the typhoon and lately the earthquake. I lament uh, when in situations crucial situations for us in Brazil uh, that churches are not as engaged in defending people's rights, in advocating f to guarantee people's rights. I, I would hope that uh, churches would be more engaged uh, together with uh, civil society on those issues. My lament, well, is that it's still the situation of poverty pretty much in El Salvador, in El Salvador affecting the majority of our population. 
uh, seeing pretty much exclusion and margin marginalization, than that is producing, causing pretty much violence, delinquency and violence. And we are seeing pretty much killings daily in the street of El Salvador. This is what I lament. I lament in my country, especially when I see the abject poverty that is among our people, in spite of the so much natural resource that we have like copper, gold, coal, and yet these minerals are being taken out of the country, leaving our people as much poor as ever. That makes me sad.